I have tied a GoPro to my fishing rod and we're out here under a gigantic oil platform and we're about to drop this GoPro under the boat to see what is swimming around this oil rig. All right, folks, here goes nothing. All right, folks, the first fish that we notice right here are Almaco Jacks swimming right below the boat. There's no limit on Almaco Jacks. They're great to eat. We did catch quite a few that day, so they're, they're a great fish to uh, catch when you see them below the boat like that. You can see down deep right there, there's a big gray snapper swimming by. We did catch quite a few of those in this video. Now these fish right here, I have no idea what those are. They're kind of swimming with the Almaco Jacks. If anybody knows, let me know. Comment down below. Now here comes a big old Barracuda into frame right there. And we're going to get some good footage of him in a second. Look at that guy. And folks, we were, uh, we're about 30 miles offshore off the coast of Alabama. And there's a lot of these oil platforms out there and they all obviously, there's a lot of life swimming around them. Another big gray snappers right there. Look at the size of those guys. People call these, a there's, there's a bunch of different names for them, all right? People call the little ones that they catch mangrove snappers. Some people call them black snappers. The actual name for them is gray snappers. Those are really, really nice ones. I'm gonna show you a, a little video clip here, a couple of the ones that we caught. It may have been those two <laughs> swimming around right there. Another barracuda right there. Lots of bait. We, we changed locations here, and this rig right here was covered with those big snappers. And those are one of my favorite fish to catch on oil rigs because they come up real high. You can chum them up right underneath your boat. They're delicious to eat. They fight really, really hard. And those are big ones, so you can get a lot of meat off those guys. Another big old barracuda coming into frame right there. Look at all the Almaco jacks right behind them.
And then in just a second, I dropped the GoPro off the back of the boat, kind of away from the rig. And check out what I saw right here. And what is interesting about this shark right here is he has half of his tail missing. Look at that. There's a bunch of spade fish. Now these fish right here I think are super underrated. You, there's no size limit on them. They taste phenomenal. They fight really, really hard. And they're difficult to catch. Uh, they really are because they're tough to get to bite. You gotta use little pieces of shrimp, light line, small hook. And there were just acres of these spade fish underneath the boat. And those are big ones. <laughs> you get a you get some nice fillets off those guys right there. Good size spade fish. Now, these, the giant snappers were hanging closer to the rig, and we never could get those to bite. I, I take that back. We got one to bite, and he immediately took us to the wreck, so we did not get them up, but uh, they, they were smart. We, we caught some really good ones, but we never got any of the giants. And those right there, check those out. Those are sergeant majors. I just learned those striped fish. I just learned about those. I did a uh, last video I posted asking what those fish were, and somebody said sergeant majors, and I looked them up, sure enough. So, learned something new. And who knows what's down deeper? I didn't get to drop my GoPro down deeper. Uh, this is just really, you know, only about 20 foot below the surface. It's cool just watching how these fish react underwater though. And those are actually cigar minnows which, and hardtails, both great bait fish. You can see big snapper off in the distance. Another big old barracuda. And that fish right there that I don't know what it is, somebody comment below. <laughs> Folks, if you enjoy the underwater videos, go ahead and shoot me a big thumbs up. Everything that I'm involved with is linked in my description below. I'm a licensed realtor here along the Florida Gulf Coast, Perdido Key, Pensacola, and Navarre is my area. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home in that area, please hit me up. Other than that, folks, we will catch you next time.